Hey everybody, I'm Matt with AVA Direct. Today we're gonna to be going over the SN850 NVMe drive from Western Digital, which we actually have here in this PC, but you wouldn't be able to tell because it's hidden underneath a heatsink, uh, which did not come with the NVMe drive. You can get it with one, but we'll get into that in a second. So the SN850 features PCIe 4.0 tech, uh, which would work best in a Ryzen build with an X570 motherboard to best utilize the speeds. Uh, if you're not aware, AMD is the only one that actually can utilize PCIe 4.0 at the, at the time right now. Um, Intel is looking to potentially drop uh, PCIe 4.0 um, with their Z590 motherboards. I don't know how true that is, it's all still a rumor, but in the next one or two generations, Intel will be up there. But for now, AMD, absolutely best choice um, and unfortunately your only choice. But the SN850 does go up to a two terabyte capacity. Uh, there are a heat sink and a non heat sink version available. Um, I would personally opt for the heat sink in this scenario where your motherboard doesn't have an integrated M.2 cover or if you're moving 100 gigabyte files on a regular basis and want that extra peace of mind. Uh, in this system here, like we said, there's no heat sink that was in included, but the motherboard does come with a, an M.2 heat sink um, to put over if it doesn't come with one. Uh, the SN850 does hit the advertised speeds. 4K performance is absolutely bonkers uh, to the point that most limitations in the system are uh, speed are going to come down to whether a program can actually use this drive efficiently. Uh, price difference between the two SSDs, one terabyte uh, Sabrent Rocket is around $129. Uh, for comparison, that's to, uh, PCI 3.0. The 4.0 Western Digital SN850 one terabyte uh, is around $229, and that's without a heat sink as well. Now, both of those models do um, have variants with a heat sink, so that's something to take into consideration. Again, if you don't have a heat sink already covering your M.2. Um, sequential write speeds are around 5,300 megabytes per second, whereas the sequential read speeds are around 7,000 megabytes per second, uh, which is, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty fast. That's really more than you could possibly need. Uh, it doesn't really get much faster than that. So thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, reach out to us on uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, any of our social media outlets. We'd be happy to respond and get you guys some answers. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Take care. If you like the PC in this video, be sure to contact our sales team at sales at avadirect.com or you can head over to our website by clicking on the link in the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use our configurator to build a PC of your dreams. Be sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe, and don't forget to follow our social media channels at 